Have you seen these students in your classrooms? You know the ones, the ones that refuse to follow directions, the ones that love to challenge your authority, the one that is often disrupting your lessons or on task students. If you haven't, count it a blessing, because let me tell you, those students can really get under your skin as a teacher in the classroom. Well, in today's video, I am sharing three classroom management strategies that you can use for what I call defiant students. Up next. Hey, teacher friends, Michelle Holiday here. I'm a behavior strategist, and I help teachers, schools, districts, and youth organizations with strategy systems and insights with how to manage students in classrooms with less struggle and less stress. So in today's video, we're talking all about management strategies for our defiant students. So these are the students who often give you a really hard time about going with the flow in the school or your classroom. One of the keys to keeping your stress to a minimum is to anticipate and expect these students to show up in your classroom and have a plan or strategies in place to address those behaviors. Strategy number one, one-on-one -on -one conversation. So during peaceful times, this is not the time where you've just redirected them. This is the, not the time when you're frustrated, and exasperated, but during a peaceful time, have a conversation with the student about what they want to do. Oftentimes I'll have students who say, I don't wanna do work. I don't wanna sit down. I don't wanna follow directions. And so at some point I ask them the simple question of what is it that you want to do? Now, depending on the age group and the personality of the student, you will get a variety of answers. So sometimes I'll hear responses like, I wanna to listen to music. Um, I've had some students who are like, I just wanna make money or I want to sit in a different seat. Once you have a conversation with the student and you realize what is it that they believe that they want to do, take that information and see if you can incorporate it in maybe how you present a lesson, how you have them deliver their assignment, or some type of incentive that you could use to motivate them to engage and follow directions. Strategy number two, give teacher approved choices. Oftentimes when it comes to defiant students, what they're also looking for is some power and control in the situation. So why not give it to them? Come up with two to three choices that you feel okay with that you can offer that defiant student. So for example, have a seat at your desk or have a seat next to me, or have a seat at your desk or have a seat at the back table, or I'll give you two minutes to get yourself together to start your work, or you can take a break at the end of your assignment for two minutes. By giving teacher approved choices, this doesn't mean the students will get choices every single time, but if the goal is to get them to work or to actually follow directions, start there and gradually move to, a, to the point to where they are consistently following directions. Strategy number three, keep your directions or corrections to a minimum. When you're giving that direction or recorrection to that defiant student, Give it one or two times at the most and then move away. Don't hover over the student, give the direction and let that stand and give them a few moments to comply with the direction. If they don't, follow through with your classroom-based management system or consequence first and see if that will motivate them to follow the direction. And here's a bonus strategy. Stay true to the structure that you have in your classroom, not the student's response. Oftentimes, teachers allow students' response to change what they have already decided to do in the classroom. So it is not uncommon for the student to say, I don't care, so do you think that's going to hurt me? All of that is a defense mechanism to get you, to, to get you distracted or change your mind on what you have decided to do. Their response is not your problem, but your consistency is. Teacher friends, that was actually four strategies that you can use for defiant students. Which strategy did you connect with the most? Leave it in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.